Islamism. Hotep. Shalom, Mishkael. Asalaam Aleika. Peace to the gods. Peace to the goddesses. I reserve all my rights without recourse. If you have taking any video from this channel without permission, you are in violation. You will be drafted for performance. It will be severe. This is your one and only warning to remove any content from this channel, from your entertainment venues, from your channel, from your blog, vlog, or the likes. Ah, oh, boy, boy, boy. All right, so today we are thankful. We are thankful for so many things. Mostly we are thankful for our ancestors. We are thankful for our forefathers and our foremothers. Our fathers and our mothers. As you might call them. Our most ancient noble. Relatives. Who were here before us. Who watch over us. Who intend to guide and protect us. All right. Working today, sending out my three day notice of default and opportunity to cure. Okay, and uh, I wanted to use this particular one as an example because of the belligerent, flagrant, um, um, you know, vi violating that this, uh, that this person does. And um, it might help my sons or my daughters when they're dealing with a situation like this to see how father dealt with it. All right, so um, this particular person, as you can see, they think that they can refuse the correspondence electronic signature return from a third party and that it would keep them safe from being sued or facing litigation or um, answering to um, the letter of the law. So this is our three-day notice and uh, this this particular business right here is so belligerent and so flagrant and so uh, discriminating that um, that um, once I get them leaned up, I'm going to uh, do a sheriff sale. I'm going to foreclose, and I'm going to have the TV cameras there from the from the local news station. And um, he's either going to write me a check. I'm going to start liquidating the entire business he has there. And then if that's not enough to cover the debt, his home, his fortune. And if that's not enough to cover the debt, then uh, he'll be put in prison. He'll be arrested. Somebody has to pay for uh, um, so we have sent this company one, two, three, four, about four, 
Um, actually, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, wait, that's a different company. We've sent this company four, <coughs> four notices, four demands, four commercial affidavits. And um, not only they don't answer, but they closed, they closed our account and became very belligerent. They refused to perform the oath of office they, they had taken. Um, as my agent of service of process and um, they engaged themselves in obstruction of correspondence so this person thinks that it's a joke he doesn't think that these are very serious uh, litigations that he is facing um, he's actually gotten in the way of me dealing with Starbucks and the other police department, but it seems like every time I go outside, someone feels the need um, to discriminate or violate or try to cause a controversy so they can involve the police. And so um, we're going to start just smacking their ass in their pockets. Well, we, I am, and uh, my household, we will. For sure, so. Uh, okay. So, I got my three-day notice of fault, opportunity to cure, all ready to go. Even though I've given them 10 or, actually, I've given them like 30, 30 extra days than what is required by law to respond. All right. Not only that, not only did they did not respond to me, they did not respond to the third party. So. So that's just that's just like they do us. They say you owe a bill, you're behind on the bill, they send you a notice, then you don't pay it, they send you another notice, you don't pay it, they send you a, a final you don't pay it, then either the next thing you know, you can sue. They sign your credit report. They taking your property. They trying to lock you up. You know, same thing. Same thing. Same thing. All right. So I'm not gonna make this very long. Um. I do want to talk about, um, I, I saw the video yesterday that uh, a sister from uh, the Morris Consulate, and she says she's going to be back in her in her house in Louis Farrakhan, Better Sin, Nation of Islam, and all this and all that. And then I tried to tell the sister in love that that wasn't the way, and... Um, she basically cursed me, so I'm going to laugh at her when she goes back to that house and um, people show up again, you know. I'm, I'm kind of laughing the fact that she's making these videos, but she's not, you know, tendering to the fact that her husband's still in prison because of her ignorance. And, and if she had a, a general counselor or a grand cheek or someone... Then I would think that they would have been out of he would have been out of jail by now, or she would have been back in her house by now, or something. So I advise you to beware if you are sending paperwork in that loca in that direction. And um, study for yourself. Speak louder than words. So. If it's me, then it's you too. All right. I'm about to be out. What else? Let's see, I got some more stuff. Uh, I got so many people in default. The judge, the police, everybody, and everybody, everybody. 
they all in default. Having having them in default, that's like having a blank check from the company. They say, right, whatever amount you want on it. Just watch. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. And this don't have nothing to do with trust money or or your trust your your trust fortune. This is just people have to pay you for violating you. Billions of dollars at a time. Hundreds of millions of dollars at a time. Now you see why, right? The schools, the education system is designed to not teach, to make sure you don't know and don't learn. And then try to sell you the shit that you were supposed to learn. And then sell it to you and you still don't get it. You still get jacked. You still get um, lynched. I say you, you, we. Ever since I was about... Had to be nine or ten years old. I've been feeling that cold steel called handcuffs from from uh what they call from uh from lepers. <laughs> From albinos, from monkeys, crackers, whatever they call themselves. Nine years old, can you imagine that? Seeing your child in handcuffs at nine years old in a police car in a jail. And my little brother was eight, he was with me. Over in Texas. You know? So. My children will not ever have to deal with that. Because these um they violate you know and I think that oh I can hire a lawyer oh I can do this I can do that You might can do that in the public. None of that matters in the in the in the private. Once you bring them out of the matrix, once once they step, once they're no longer in the matrix, none of that matters. It only matters in the matrix, inside, in the public. And then, at the same time, it's still a hologram. Because the lawyer's not real. I mean, now, if you go to law school and you apply yourself, you'll learn some things. But you should know that what a bar is and a bar, and you should know all of that. Like, you should truly know it. Because it's not what to say it is. All right. Asking your oppressor for permission to litigate. Think about that. First, ask yourself, does the law say I have to do that? And if so, find it. Find that law. Every time some 
cracker tell you you gotta do something. He needs to show you the law that, that says it. And not no statutes. Cause see, the statutes, you don't know this, but that's the Jim Crow. We got statutes. We got statutes. That means we'll shoot you. If you don't do what we say. We got statutes. Jim Crow. Lynching and all of that shit. But see, those statues get shot when the law find out that they pretending that they, what they call it, impersonating. See, the law don't like to be impersonated. Law does not, no matter who's doing it. But if the other party never finds out, then that's their own fault. Like it says, let him who will be kind be kind. Let him who will be, you know, beguiled, be beguiled. That's that word we've been focusing on this whole time. W-I-L-L. Will. The only thing that exists between higher self and lower self. Think about that. So, I got my ink on my paper, and um, <laughs> at the same time, I actually put in a uh, uh, complaint with the postal inspector because all of my mail in LA has been taken like seven days more to be delivered. Like I could send a letter from San Francisco to New York, it gets there in four days. To LA, it takes 12, 13 days. That doesn't make sense. My mail is just sitting in these um, post offices. And then all of a sudden, when I send a complaint to the postal inspector, then it gets updated on the uh, system. <coughs> So uh, I do intend to file a complaint of conspiracy to obstruct correspondence um, by their corporation because they're all the same company. USPS, State of California, UPS stores, all the same company. So I'm trying to play public games in the private and it doesn't work. So yeah, oh Brucey Bruce, gonna buy us. I would say he's gonna buy us like a new private jet, you know, and a big ass yacht. But um, <clears throat> sure we could find more um, advantageous. things to uh, put those resources to. We'll see. And who's, yep. So yeah, private administrative process. Notice a fault opportunity to occur. For the fourth, this is actually my my final fault before getting a declaratory judgment. And once that judgment is filed in the court, then um, then it's gonna be all bad for our Brucey Bruce because he has to pay up him, his company, his estate, whoever. Somebody pay up because all you had to do was write back answer to the charges. So now there's a warrant and this warrant goes into the mail right now. And the warrant is for about at this point. Let 
about 20. Um, it's a lot. It's a lot because after this letter, it's going to add more charges on there for being in default and uh, for uh, taking an oath and not um, not abiding by the terms and conditions of your fiduciary appointment responsibility. So, govern yourselves accordingly. Don't be like Bruce. Um, and then that's all. Peace and love. Family life forever.